Water Features Water is the single most important resource for life on the planet. It provides us with, among many other things, food, transportation, and leisure. It draws us to it, entertains, fascinates, and even provides serenity. You could even say that we are water, 98%. Therefore, it's no surprise that we would like to pay homage to this dynamic and vital element in our living space. From cascading waterfalls and koi ponds, to simple waterless pond features. Water features will infuse your landscape with motion, sound, and sparkle. If you are looking to add a bit of the bubbly to your landscape, here are a few tips. Natural stone water features should imitate the wild. Whether sheer drops over stacked stone, or rushing creeks carved into a slope. You should incorporate as many of nature's guidelines into your creation as you can. Remember to carve into the earth the way water does to give the illusion of long-term erosion. Stagger and vary rock size and fill in with smaller stones harvested from the same site, if possible. Position cascade stones to offer both the look and the sound you are seeking. On a slope, make sure to provide access for the minimal cleaning and maintenance required. Here, a path with stairs gives access. And here. Use a low energy, high volume pump and you can run your waterfall 24 seven, every day of the year. Even in the winter, where you may discover delightful frozen patterns in the morning. A nice water feature will attract wildlife, like these sparrows, which seem to be enjoying themselves. Remember that the larger the surface area, the more water loss to evaporation. Pondless features are ideal for low water usage and maximum impact. Since water supports plant life, thriving plant material will frequently give water features a more appealing natural look. Here a pump is simply placed at the bottom of the pool with a cord running to an outdoor plug. Electrical cords can easily be screened with plants or rocks. Notice the large capstone and strategically placed cobblestones used to create a wonderful little spillway. As in nature, the arrangement of rock should appear random. Try to use natural elements when possible. The artificial cap rock here detracts from the setting. Multiple spillways can add visual as well as sonic depth. Spillway height will add drama and mist. You will want to leave extensive projects in the hands of a qualified contractor. This project, also depicted in the next four slides, was built in Leona Valley in 1998 by Green Bee Landscape. Anything is possible depending on your imagination and budget. The man-made rock and concrete was designed to match the existing natural boulders on site. A wall under the bridge in this Green Bee project in West Palmdale separates a koi pond from a swimming pool. 
From another view, you can see a small railroad tie deck which overlooks the scene. The harmonics of a water feature are very important. You might want to use a garden hose to test different configurations before securing all of the rock. Too much water may sound like a gushing storm, and not enough like a leaky faucet. Therefore, you will want to experiment with different sounds by changing the design of the water flow. Regardless of the size and scope of your water feature, consider the following before shopping, whether it is pre-manufactured or built on site. If the water feature is going to dominate the landscape, a complete plan should be implemented. You may need to enlist the services of a designer or architect. This backyard feature was designed by Charles Strotter, landscape architect in Lancaster, California, and built by Greenbee Landscape. Once the design was approved, the homeowner pre-selected the type of rock desired for the project. Here the supplier scoops marked boulders. Once the grade was established, a crane was used to lift and place 24 tons of rock. Final adjustments are made on site to meet the scale of the plan. This creek is long and lazy. A double 45 mil rubber liner has been placed beneath the waterways. Pondless features require a vault to store water. This one includes the return line, a fill valve, and an overflow connected to the drain system. The stone kermit here seems to approve. An edible garden flanks this dominant water feature in Quartz Hill. Boulders can also be incorporated as retaining walls while carrying the natural theme throughout the project. Bark mulch in a fire pit seating area will provide a campfire setting near the rushing creek bed. The water meanders into the lowest point and disappears. When not running, the water stays safely stored underground below the heat. Plant material is nestled up the banks, appearing to feed on moisture from the water feature. A long, fairly flat waterway creates a thicker, slower moving stream, calling for more water storage underground or in the pond if that is the case. Boulders are oriented to maximize seating and hiking opportunities. Here is a panoramic 180 degree view from the dining room of the finished backyard. Today we have focused on natural water features built on site. However, there is no limit to the size and scope of what you can do, and even a small cast fountain will make a huge difference in the atmosphere of your living space. If you are building your own small feature, a great resource is this guide available online for free the Family Handyman, How to Build a Low Maintenance Water Feature. And that concludes this slide presentation. Thank you all for listening.